Reflects accurately what happened in that fight. Pacquiao busier. Morales more accurate with his punches. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Eric Morales, Manny Pacquiao fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules of the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. A case of cut is caused by an accidental headbutt. We go to the scorecards if the four rounds have been completed and you cannot be saved by the bell at any round, including the 12th to final round. Jim! It's a 12 round fight, no title is at stake. Eric Morales lost the coin flip and therefore enters the ring first where he will wait for Pacquiao to enter the ring. You see below him, the information that in his last fight in September in what was expected and planned to be a marketing tune-up for this fight, he lost a one-sided decision to Zahir Rahim. In that fight, Larry, he went up to 135 pounds for the first time and perhaps erred in taking on a brilliant defensive boxer. Well, the brilliant defensive boxer certainly make it look like he erred and he is very, very embarrassed by what happened. He has a keen sense of where he stands in the boxing firmament, and he feels he has to regain those heights. It was the only loss of his career, Emmanuel, which was not to the great Marco Antonio Barrera, who beat him twice in their trilogy. Was it a blessing in disguise in the way that it could motivate Morales for tonight? I think so. You know, Morales has this personal inside war inside of himself that he's going through of trying to become the favorite fighter of the Mexican fans, and he's at this continuous war comparing with Barrera and with Julio Cesar Chavez. And I think the loss really, really hurt him so much that he's going to fight a much more better fight. But some question whether it means that Morales is done after too many big fights, too many wars, too many high-pressure rounds. Well, we're going to find out tonight. That's one of the questions that I like probably everyone has. But the problem is maybe it was just the style of Zaria, which I think is, was more of a factor than the fact that he's done. You saw the record for Manny Pacquiao in his last five fights. Three knockouts, a draw with Juan Manuel Marquez, and the loss to Eric Morales. Pacquiao has fought on American soil eight times. His record, five sensational knockouts, two draws, one of them a technical draw with Agapito Sanchez, the other the bizarre draw with Juan Manuel Marquez, in which he knocked Marquez down three times in the first round, and then the loss to Morales. Here he comes with his enormous fan-following support from the Filipinos in the crowd. He is just about the happiest warrior we've ever seen walking into a fight. Back in the Philippines, he's a combination of Ali and Elvis and Bruce Lee. Needs 10 bodyguards for him and his family. An extraordinary personality, perhaps the most extraordinary personality ever to come to these shores as a prize fighter from Asia. As a child, he sold stolen cigarettes on the streets of his city in the Philippines to eat and survive. Now, rich people from that country line up to pay homage to him. I'm just so impressed with this crowd here. I never thought we'd see this type of a crowd after a fighter like Morales lost so decisively the last fight. What a night. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're in Las Vegas is proud to welcome you to the Thomas and Max Center, Las Vegas, Nevada, where tonight Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated is proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing in the super featherweight division. On the line, the WBC international title. This contest is sponsored by your undisputed champion, the King of Beers, Budweiser, and sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Skip Avancino, Jr., Executive Director, Mark Ratner. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest on the 10-point system will be Dave Moretti, Jerry Roth, and Paul Smith. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action inside the ring, referee Kenny Bayless. And now, for the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, courtesy of Win Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble!
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with flames. The visual weight, 128 and one half pounds. Professional record, 40 victories, including 31 knockouts with only three defeats and two draws. From General Santo City, Philippines, the two-time world champion, Manny Pacman His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with black. The visual weight, 130 pounds. Professional record, 48 victories, including 34 knockouts with only three defeats. Damas y caballeros de la zona norte, Tijuana, Mexico. The three-time world champion, Eric El Terrible. Okay, gentlemen, any punches thrown in this area will be considered a clean punch. Any punches on the upper half thrown in this area will be clean. Now, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to keep the fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Touch gloves. Good luck. Good as well, take. When I was asked before their first fight who I thought was going to win, as I'm often asked, I said, I just hope they fight so well that we want to see it again. This is again. You know, the first fight, I picked Morales to win because of the physical size and also the fact that I thought that he would take advantage of the balance and play a bad position of Pacquiao. But after the way the fight went, very difficult to say this fight here. The intangibles favor Pacquiao, though, this fight. Two other editorial notes we haven't touched on as they come to the ring. Eric Morales, for the first time in 52 pro fights, fighting without his father in his corner. He fired his father as trainer and hired uh, Jose Luis Lopez Sr., who has no previous great prominence in the sport. Manny Pacquiao did not get to wear the gloves he wanted to wear in the first fight because of a deal his then-promoter, Murad Mohammed had made for him. Tonight, he gets to wear the Reyes gloves, which he says are better for a puncher and will give him more of a chance to score the knockout he's looking for. They start out sizing each other up from a tactical boxing point of view, and both fighters start with the jab. One job which Pacquiao must accomplish to win the fight tonight, limit the effectiveness of Morales' jab, or ideally somehow take it away. Morales seems to be in a much better zone right now, fighting a guy like Pacquiao as compared to Raheem, who is moving away a lot more. And his, and his, his, his jab and the fact that Pacquiao gets his feet crossed up often when he gets close, it may turn out to be an advantage to Morales. I'd be stunned if we didn't see an entirely different Eric Morales tonight than the guy we saw in September against Raheem. However, on that night, Manny Pacquiao looked spectacular in knocking out Hector Velasquez with a series of big right-hand shots. Not his normal straight left-hand knockout punch, but right hooks. Uh, the way that Morales is holding his right hand is just almost perfect for Pacquiao's favorite punch, which is a straight left right through the center. Because Morales is holding the right hand to the side of his head. To the side of his head. And, rather and, and, than in front. And, and Pacquiao, his whole attack is basically around his straight left. He doesn't do too much effective stuff to the body, uh, either, either with his right jab or either right hook. In the last 20 seconds, you saw Pacquiao twice land the straight left. Not a really big shot so far. This is the way the first fight went. They loosened up and traded punches most of the way. Morales backs Pacquiao up with a big right hand. Almost knocks him down with a right hand. Stuns Pacquiao as he dabs and right crosses him into the corner. Sort of a very interesting fight because Pacquiao is still going to land those straight lefts, but his balance gets to be so bad when he starts his exchanges. And that's going to be a big factor. Two so hard lefts left. inside by Pacquiao. Straight left through the center again. 
Pacquiao is targeting that left hand effectively in this round. He threw it by his own admission way too often in the first fight. The idea is to get inside and set it up. Here's a good body shot by Pacquiao. Morales momentarily stops him with a right. Well, after a minute of sizing each other up, they're sizing each other up in another way right now. A flurry at the end of the round by Pacquiao, another landed left hand. Morales tries to come back with one of his own. It was a brilliant round. When we go to Morales' corner where they speak Spanish, our interpreter is Ray Torres. Very well. Don't lower your guard. Don't lower it for nothing. Keep him up. You got to keep balancing yourself with your hands up. After your combinations, you can't stand in front of them, okay? You got to move off to the side, move your head. Here we see Morales landing the straight right hand, and because of the balance and position of Pacquiao, he bent over, got him off balance, and he landed another right hand. Might have been enough to win the round. It was a showy flurry. Pacquiao spaced some left hands out through the round. Interestingly, if you look at CompuBox numbers for round one, just like the first fight, Morales throwing fewer, landing at a higher rate, Pacquiao throwing more, landing at a lower connect percentage. Pacquiao actually had a 12 to 5 edge in power connects according to CompuBox, but the three right hands by Morales may have won the round. Remember, Pacquiao more of an attacker. Morales is a guy who can lead or counter, and his counter punching helped him to win the first fight. Both guys will hit and get hit. Well, the piece is just enough to make it interesting fight. They both get hit enough. But the biggest thing that I'm noticing in this fight is the, the balance, once again, of Pacquiao, which may end up being a bigger factor because he's punching good, but he loses his balance often. But, he, but the punching is about 50-50. One thing that would really help Pacquiao to change the fight would be if he could be more effective with his right hand. Before the first fight, he and trainer Freddie Roach told reporters in Manila that he would throw a secret punch called Manila Ice, which was supposed to be an effective right hook. He must be listening to you, Jim. He's starting to work with his right jab right there. That's what he that, needs to do. He has to be a two-handed fighter instead of a one-handed fighter. That makes a big difference because if I was training someone to fight, I might have him primarily looking for a straight left through the middle. There it is. A hard it. left hand by Pacquiao. Backs yeah. Morales up. Right. And another hard left. Touches up Morales and momentarily stuns there. But Morales always fights back when he's done. There's so much for the boxing. Yeah. The war is on. What separates fighters like Morales is they won't take a punch for an answer. They're going to reply. Pacquiao says he's got the punches left. Manny, 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 the ground chance. And, and he almost was... knocks Morales down with the left. Yeah, the straight lefts are landing right between the gloves. And Morales has not stopped the straight left hand at all tonight. No, he doesn't have any defense. The only defense he has is to just fight. His Pacquiao just missed offense. with a left that might have sent Morales home early. Morales comes back with a straight left hand and chopping rights and does damage of his own. Because he cannot stop Pacquiao straight left. It's hard to tell yet whether the puncher's gloves are having an effect, but Manny Pacquiao is throwing that left with abandon. And remember, Morales is still wearing the winning gloves, which are more powdered, padded, and tend to do according to punchers. Less damage. Another great round. Okay? Deep breath. Come on, he's hitting you with the left hand. 
Don't lower your hands. And when you go back, don't go back straight. Well, it's not a case of Morales lowering his hand. He just keeps his right hand on the side instead of through the center, and there's no defense. The only way they can keep Pacquiao off is just to outfight him. But he's landing straight left hands at random. And Pacquiao throws punches, power punches, more correctly. He gets his shoulder into it, whereas Morales is just a furious arm puncher very often. Yes, Pacquiao punches directly, as we say, through you. He doesn't punch just to make contact. He tries to punch completely through you with all of his weight. Copy box numbers in round two. Morales 20 out of 75. Pacquiao 23 out of 87. Pacquiao with an 18-14 edge and power connect. The positioning of Eric Morales' right hand, Manny, shows you that he's far more concerned with his ability to throw it than with blocking Pacquiao's left. That's right, and he's, he's getting hit. I saw at the end of the round, it seemed like a little wobble in Morales' leg as he went to the corner, something I've never saw before. Seems to be a little unsteady. Hard right hand by Morales over the top, and a left hook by Morales. And now he's got Pacquiao on the defensive. Seesaw fight already. We're only in the third round. by Pacquiao. There's a little variety he didn't show in the first fight. And a good right hand as he backed away. Again, Manny can set the left hand up more effectively if he can use the right better tonight than he did in the first fight. And as he starts to get his right hand effectively to make it much easier for that straight left to the center. And the straight left lands again on the button on Morales' chin. But if Pacquiao was expecting to knock Morales out by landing straight left hands, it hasn't happened yet. And they get close to the ropes. Morales uses his height and his longer body to force Pacquiao back and pressure him against the ropes. And he uses his right jab pretty effectively so far, too. Left jab. Yeah, okay, I, I wondered jab. if you were talking about Morales or Pacquiao. No. Morales is using his left jab effectively. And some people say he won the first That's fight with his jab, although certainly the right hand wasn't exactly in the holster. They trade combinations. It's Morales who dominates the exchange. And he goes back to work with the jab in the right hand. If Pacquiao isn't stopping Morales' right, Morales isn't stopping Pacquiao's left. It's a good thing that both of these guys have good chins. They're trading their money punches. And at pretty close range from time to time. The distance, the distance between them expands and contracts according to what Pacquiao wants to do. Mostly yeah. Morales stands his ground. Right now, one of the big factors still is Mo Morales is a much more solid fighter balance-wise than Pacquiao. Pacquiao's not attempt at the end of his combinations. Looks like he's hurt when he's not because his balance is so bad. Pacquiao is a blunt instrument. He just comes forward. The intelligence is the difference. The, the left and right, a spray right hand. Don't let him take the initiative. Get away from the ropes. Don't let him, you take him to the ropes. Don't let him take you to the ropes. All right, hold on. Don't let him be first. Be first. Be first is a double jab and drop in the body shot. Don't let him be first. Okay. You do a double jab, left hand in the body, come back to your hook. Copy box numbers in the third. Morales 21 out of 68. He had a very good round. Pacquiao 13 out of 67. Morales with an edge and power connect. If you're scoring, you might want to say, although they've been close rounds, that it appears Morales might have won the first and the third. Pacquiao the second. Let's see what Harold Letterman has to say as we go to his card. Okay, Jim, you, you got it exactly the way I've got it. 29, 28, two rounds to one. 
Eric El Terrible Morales. Jim, let's talk about that second round for a minute. The rule is, if you get hit with a clean shot and you go into the ropes, if you caught helpless in the up in the ropes, the referee could call it a knockdown. Morales did get caught. He did go into the ropes, but I thought it was more of a slip. He was more off balance. I agree with Bayless. It wasn't a knockdown. This time, as Pacquiao went to attack, Morales caught him with a counter left hook and momentarily drove him back. That's the first really effective left hook we've seen from Eric. I scored the first round, uh, incidentally, even, and I have it 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Fans will like you better, Larry. Incidentally, Manny Pacquiao's right eye is beginning to swell just a little bit. That's Eric Morales' jab, yeah, finding the target. His left jab, he's interested in the styles, though. With, with Zaire, right here, he had such problem because of the boxing techniques, but the fact that Pacquiao's is sitting there fighting him and he has a body to hold him up when he punches is a totally different fight. Well, when a guy boxes and moves as Raheem did, Morales gets disgusted and says, oh, he doesn't really want to fight. Pacquiao is an opponent he can totally appreciate. Yes, he's a warrior. These are two warriors, and this is what makes great fights. When you have fighters who are willing to fight anyone and they have exciting styles themselves, that's good for boxing. Excellent counter right hook by Pacquiao. That might begin to inhibit Morales' jab, but Morales with a stiff left knocks Pacquiao's head back and does it again. When Morales effectively picks his shots and then goes back to defending afterward, he's very effective. A little left jab of Morales is very effective too. Morales tends to get Upper marked. cut by Pacquiao, good shot. Tends to get marked up around the nose and eyes and it's already beginning. He's got a high ridge bone in his nose and that swells up right away as soon as he starts getting hit a butt. Well, his nose comes in section. Sections, I should say. I uh, mean, seriously, if you if you were distributing tickets along Eric's nose, you could you could divide them into four seating sections. Well, I see it as a great hawk nose, a hawk circling, looking for prey. It gets broken in a lot of fights, but he's used to that. He's had a good round here in the fourth as he continues to drive Pacquiao back. Pacquiao threw 81 jabs in the first two rounds, but has begun to slow down on that and go back to the routine of power punching all the time. That helps Morales to find his open. Nice! Good combination at the end of the round by Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, but the left jab of uh, Morales is becoming a bigger factor as the fight goes on. It seems to be landing consistently. Deep breath. Relax. Here, Manny. Fifth round. Here you go. Pass away. Gotcha. Okay. Water. Oh boy. You, you got to put pressure on him, but I don't want you to just don't do nothing. The jab and put the pressure on him. He, he doesn't know how to fight when going backwards. The left jab right there, Morales is right now been the most effective, consistent punch in the entire fight. In the fourth round, Morales threw that jab 37 times and landed 11. Pacquiao tried 29 jabs in the fourth round, landed only three. He was very effective with the jab in the first couple of rounds. Now Morales is beginning to solve that. And I think he's solving it, Manny, simply by peppering Pacquiao with his own jab and making Pacquiao concentrate on defending against that. Yes, yes, and, and Pacquiao has gotten away from landing his straight left through the center that he was landing earlier. Maybe that's because he's not landing his jab anymore either. And Morales has moved his right hand over just a little bit, just a tiny bit in front of his face. That's Good right. left and right by Morales. Yes, the left jab started it. And he seems like he doesn't have a defense. Normally when you're fighting a guy that's a right hand and you're supposed to try to parry that punch off, kick it off, but Pacquiao isn't picking it off. He just has really no defense for it. He just jabs over his shoulder. Hard left hand lands for Pacquiao. With his Reyes gloves on. Exactly. That was the solid shot. If the knockout puncher yeah. was looking for a knockout, he might have thought he'd gotten something there. And that's the biggest thing I was Pacquiao, he lands big shots a lot of time. He leaves himself in a bad position from balance viewpoint, and that's when he gets hit a lot after he finishes up punches. You think there's a question, Manny? as to whether Manny Pacquiao is really a 130-pound fighter. Was he significantly more effective at 126? There is no doubt, let me ask him a minute, that, that Pacquiao is a more truer featherweight. A 
Uh, but we're talking about three or four pounds, and for the elite fighters, it shouldn't make that much difference. But definitely, Morales is the bigger man. And he imposes his will on Pacquiao again, busting with two right hands, and another one. Manny's firing back and landing, but Morales is landing the more tactically significant blows. He's doing what he wants to do. He's landing the effective blows, the very clean blows. Again, Pacquiao shakes his head as Morales clocks him with a jab. Look at the upper body movement of Eric Morales, who has brought a lot of energy tonight. Perfect one-twos. Left jab and right cross. Pacquiao fires the left up the middle and lands again. And lands again. And lands again. And Morales comes back with a run. Morales does not have a defense for the straight left. That's the only weakness that he has. He's a true Mexican fighter. If you don't hit him, he's insulted. That's no small weakness, Emmanuel. It's a oh, major yeah. weakness, especially when you have a guy like Pacquiao that can punch with so powerful with that left hand. And Pacquiao doesn't have a defense for the left jab of Morales. So if the question was, Time. will tonight's fight be significantly different in appearance than the first fight, the answer so far is no. The, the left, the left, and then the right on the top. Come on, and then the uppercut. Yeah, uppercut with the right hand. You, you're doing well. Don't wait on this guy. When you back him up with the jab, you kill him. Okay? Combination, Combination behind the jab. When he's on the ropes, you drop down to the body. Here you see the left jab of Morales, which has turned out to be the most effective punch for him. And here's a straight left through the center of Pacquiao's, which has been the most effective punch for him. Up your box numbers through the fifth round. Get that up. Morales has landed 24 more punches. Pacquiao has thrown 56 more. What is exactly the same as in the first fight is that Pacquiao is averaging only three landed jabs per round now. That's exactly the way he was in the first fight. Morales tripling him in connected jabs. It's the big difference in the fight. Fast pace after this round will be halfway through. Pacquiao lands a straight left. Pacquiao's energy level going up. That was to, about a tough 10 or 12 seconds for Morales. And here he comes right back. I was just going to say that Pacquiao reminds me of that. What's the commercial about the energy, the work money, out, or whatever? Out, work out, work and just out, when I was going to say that, Morales comes back again. Left jab. Straight left hand by Pacquiao. In the first fight, Morales showed he could take Pacquiao's Sunday punch. Manny Pacquiao and Freddie Roach said, well, that's probably because of the Reyes gloves that we didn't get a chance to wear. In the second fight, Pacquiao's wearing Reyes gloves, and still, Morales can take Pacquiao's best shot. Yeah, Morales has a good chance. But his face is getting marked now. His nose is broken and twisted to one side. And it's given new energy to Pacquiao, too. No question, Pacquiao has rearranged Morales' nose with, I believe, his right hand. Pacquiao landing one, two, three, four, five shots inside. He's having a big round here. Already, Pacquiao's thrown 52 power shots in the round and connected on 21 of them. 
If those gloves are going to make a difference, it's going to be their cumulative impact. Because Morales just can't be knocked out with just one punch. He's only been down once in his career, and that was not a clean knockdown that hurt him. He's never been knocked out. Well, Manny Pacquiao has never won a decision on American soil. Well, Pacquiao's goal tonight is to try to knock out Morales be the first guy to knock him out. What a round for Manny Pacquiao. He completely dominated the sixth, and Morales wobbles back to his corner. And may have gone down if he didn't fall into the referee's body. That's a big round. That's the best round Pacquiao's had against Morales. Might have been a 10-8 round. Okay, put a lot of water on him. That's it, a lot of water. So come on up. And you gotta be jabbing and moving. You gotta be balancing with the jab. You, you gotta show something, Eric. This time, it's Morales who has the cut in the middle of the fight. And, it, and Morales right now has been pummeled. I've never saw him hit like that. And if, especially on his face, that he knows that he's in trouble. You saw the numbers if you were watching the graphic. Pacquiao landing 32 power shots out of 80 thrown in the sixth round. Harold, how do you have it through six now? Okay, Jim, four rounds to two, 58. 56, Eric Morales. Jim, I thought Eric did win three rounds in a row. Rounds three, four, and five. Round six was huge for Pacquiao. I didn't think he did enough to make it a 10-8 because Morales fought back. But be as it may, four to two, Morales. I have it three, two, and one. Good right hook to the body by Pacquiao. Morales catches him with a left hook. Turns it back around for the moment. Scraping Pacquiao against the ropes with lefts and rights. Manny looking to get in the left hand shot. Backs Pacquiao, or backs Morales off. Here comes the Mexican warrior again. Look out, look out. Both of these guys have good chin. What incredible competitors both of these guys are. Just when you think they are fading, they come back. Yeah, but Morales looks a little weak though. Oh, hard right hand by Pacquiao after Morales landed a good job. Eric tries to load up on one big punch and misses it. Pacquiao is getting more and more accurate as these rounds progress. There's a hard left hand over the top. Morales is taking tremendous punishment. Even, even a rock will break open if you hit it often enough. Yeah, Pacquiao's punching with more snap, more crispness. Morales is punching this on sheer determination. And you've talked about balance in the past. It's Eric Morales who is wobbling now. Yes. As his legs have clearly been affected by the pummeling that Pacquiao has delivered in the last round and a half. And probably all of the last 15 fights prior to this are beginning to show. Even the great Marco Antonio Barrera in his two wins over Eric Morales never damaged Morales as much over the course of two rounds as Pacquiao has here in the sixth and the seventh. Yeah, and I think maybe all of those hard fights are beginning to time to take their effect and toll on them. Well, I think it's a little premature, but just give Pacquiao credit here for coming back in the middle of the fight to make it a fight. Morales trying to regain his composure, it seems. We've seen Eric Morales' nose broken many times before, but I don't think I've ever seen it look this bad, Emmanuel. No, no. And, and I'm looking at the way he's workout, punching workout. too. Just when I mean, he punches, stop, stop his balance is very bad. Pacquiao is just so strong, so focused, so determined still, and punching with so much power. There's also a cut over one of Eric Morales' eyes, but it isn't bleeding profusely yet. Another hard left hand inside by Manny Pacquiao. You saw Eric's head snap back. Morales continues to try to press forward and fight. Doesn't know any other way. How you feeling? Come on, sit. My, my foot. My, my legs. Mm -hmm. 
va muy cerrada, cabrón. Perfílate, perfílate, por favor. This is the you Morales. Can see Morales, rally. yeah. Morales is pushing Pacquiao back. They both said that whoever could make the other one back up would be effective. But, but Emmanuel, when he asked to have his legs rubbed in the round, it says to me that those punches are affecting his conditioning badly. He's got problems. In the last two rounds, by CompuBox count, Eric Morales has taken 50 power shots from the fists of Manny Pacquiao, maybe the hardest puncher in the sport in these lower weight classes. Somehow, Morales is still standing up, still fighting back, but the momentum in the fight has shifted in favor of Pacquiao. The word from Morales' corner, via interpreter Ray Torres, his legs are just tired. That's what he needs. Yeah, and the last thing you need to do is start rubbing the legs. That's a massage will take whatever energy you have in your legs out. I, I strongly disagree on that, of rubbing, massaging, or rubbing anything in a fight like that. Having watched Tommy Hearns get his legs rubbed accidentally and inadvertently prior to going in oh, against yes. Tom, uh, at Marvin, Marvin's Marvin Hagman. That's the one thing that I'm adamant about. The last few days, definitely no rub downs. Hard right hand by Pacquiao drives Morales back. He fires another right hook. He's been so good with the right hand tonight. Morales with a brilliant counter right. Yeah, but Pacquiao just seems to be able to take everything to calm that in. Morales is going to have to work hard to find something to stem the tide. His jab seemed to be dominating the fight for three rounds, but Pacquiao has gotten past it yep. in these past two and a half rounds. And his straight left is beginning to find a target. Right, right, right hand the again. More effective right hand punching, and now Morales seems to be saying to himself, all right, I've got to just let it go and rip it. I might as well go ahead and take whatever I'm going to take in return. I have to throw. Morales wobble in the face of the constant onslaught from Pacquiao. Look at the courage of Morales as he continues to try to fire combinations and turn it around. Yeah, his legs doesn't look too steady at all. Good body shot by Pacquiao with the left hand. He mixes in a few more body shots. He may get Morales in serious trouble. But it's hard for a slugger like Manny to remember to go to the body. He's so accustomed to starching people upstairs. Yeah, he still favors that straight left hand of his. He's had so much success with it. Morales' right hand partially blocked by Pacquiao. And then a series of Pacquiao shots. And Morales with a jab and a right hand and a body shot and another right. And suddenly he's back in the fight. Makes Pacquiao miss. Dances with his feet, alive again. Too late with not enough in that round for Morales. Give, give us some water. Don't, don't jump around so much. Be a little more, more, more firm. Don't jump so much. Behind the jab, drop down the body, okay? okay. Right. You come upstairs, okay, come upstairs with your hooks, okay? All right, guys, All right. Desperation, thy name is a leg rub. Uh, and that, you know, when you get a massage, you get that after a workout. Before that, it leaves the muscles in a spent position. They're totally fatigued and stretched. So you think Morales is going to get worse and worse here? Yes, he's going to rub his legs. Yeah, but I think now what he's going to try to do is counter punch his way here. He's going to try to catch Morales on the way in. I don't know and how Pacquiao much. On the way Pacquiao. In. Pacquiao, sorry. I don't know if he's got the energy to attack consistently. 
Donby Box numbers in the eighth. Pacquiao 18 out of 84. Morales 19 out of 73. But Pacquiao had the edge in power connects and seemed began to win the round. Although Morales had that big rally at the end. Pacquiao showed a much better defense there to fight his progress, and he's getting away from most of the power punches from Morales. But after dominating the three preceding rounds with power punches, Pacquiao has slowed down here in the night. Nothing much has happened in the first minute and 15 of the round. But he's still landing it with a straight left hand through the center still, which uh, Morales doesn't do anything to work stop out, it out, at all. Out. He just seems to have just absorb it. Emmanuel, on nose, which is already broken in several places. Emmanuel, do you think what's been going on in Morales's corner is a reflection of the changes in that corner? I think it's just accumulation of a lot of things. I think that Pacquiao just seems to be more energetic, much more strength, and uh, Murata seems like he's just slowed down, and the, all the punches he's taking are taking an effect on him, seem like, tonight. With all those hard fights. Could it be the difference between Reyes' gloves and winning gloves? I don't, think the gloves would make, I don't think the gloves would make any difference. I really don't even think the different people in the corner would even make any difference. You think it's just sheer determination on Pacquiao's part to be more forceful? Yes, I think it it's is. partially better use of the right hand, and, Manny. Yeah, and that, that left hand, the straight left hand uh, through the center has been to be a big, big, big factor now. Whereas before, the left hand of Morales was landing a lot. Now the left, straight left through the center of Pacquiao is becoming a big factor now. A punch that he overused and didn't land as often as he wanted to in the first fight. He's been more effective setting it up with a variety of shots, yeah. including some brilliant right hooks and some good jabbing from time to time. And Morales' legs are going. And they trade at close range, and now Pacquiao's hands are quicker. As Morales begins to lunge and reach, his legs are leaving him, his hands don't move at the same speed, and Pacquiao's more and more assertive as the fight goes on. And going more to the body, Jim. And Eric Morales backed away to avoid contact, something you may never previously have seen in his career. You know, I think that's indicative of where he is at this stage of the fight. How are you feeling, Eric? That's good. More water. Yeah. More water. It's easy, son. Go. But after the combination, after the combination, you're off to the side. Yeah. Okay. Are you Maybe. tired? He's all done. He's all done. Right here, you see Pacquiao just coming back. He's just out fighting him at this stage right now. Well, he has quicker hands. And he's landing yeah. four for every one. Or three for everyone. Morales has, has no defense at all now. Morales allows Pacquiao to trade with him and therefore gets hit more often because Pacquiao's hands are faster. Power shots in the ninth round. Morales 11 of 43. Pacquiao more effective, 17 out of 50. Harold, how do you have it coming to the 10? Okay, Jim. Five rounds to four. 86, 85, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, I tell you, I thought Morales did win three rounds in a row, three, four, and five. But Manny Pacquiao has won everything since. Six, seven, eight, nine, all to Manny Pacquiao. He's just taking it to Eric Morales and punching him, doing more damage, landing the harder shots. But now in the first 30 seconds of the 10th round, Morales has reestablished his jab and could be on his way to a potential winning round if he keeps it up. Now, I think that has to do with Pacquiao also being a little tired. He spit some blood out into the bucket between rounds. That's a good body shot by Pacquiao. He tries for another one. Catches Morales with a straight left. Eric manages to duck and slip a couple. Doesn't throw, has his hands below his waist. He's exhausted. Totally exhausted. You know, it's the one thing he always finished up strong. And after every exchange, he always fired back. But I think it's, it's pretty much difficult for him to do it now. In the last couple minutes, we've seen him back away from contact. We've seen him stand with his hands at his sides and simply duck and slip without throwing. That's very not unlike Eric Morales. 
Another, another hard left by Pacquiao. Back to Morales off. Yes. He has no defense at all for that punch. Now it looks almost like Morales is the one who's off balance. And then he yes, he has. He has no legs. It is very, very, very weak. It would not be surprised for me to see him go down for the first time. Pacquiao yeah. seizing the initiative again. Hard left hand stops Morales in his tracks there. Eric with his hands at his sides as he backs away along the ropes. And he almost did go down on that shot. Yeah, he's fighting, but his legs are so weak that at any time he can go. There he goes. Good call, Manny. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Yeah. Yeah. Totally exhausted. And it seems like he has the same expression that Barora had on his face when he fought Pacquiao. And now Morales is going to fall farther behind on the scorecards unless he can knock Pacquiao down. But it's almost impossible to imagine it now. It's over. There's the second knockdown and the stoppage. Manny Pacquiao has knocked out the great Eric Morales. A, a great victory for Pacquiao. How do you get bigger in the Philippines than being a combination of Ali, Elvis, and Bruce Lee? He just got bigger. He thought he could do it the first time around. He totally made the point tonight. And he did it the hard way because he took a lot of punches himself early in the fight. He was behind at the midway in point of the fight. Brilliant and courageous performance by the pride of the Philippines. And the people who made Pacquiao the favorite, curiously, were right. He had a bigger upside. He could change more coming into this fight than Morales can. And now the questions come, has Morales just been in too many of these wars against outstanding fighters. Morales has just lost two fights in a row against two different kinds of fighter. In one fight, he loses an embarrassing one-sided decision. In this fight, he is knocked out and annihilated for the first time in his career. And lost three out of his last four. Here's the first knockdown, Emmanuel Stewart. You saw it coming. Yeah, it was just his legs was going. I mean, anyway, even a punch on his shoulders would have scored a knockdown. Another look at knockdown number one. Pacquiao hitting Morales yeah. on the top of the head, and often that'll send yeah, the fighter down. Yeah, you can't fight when you don't have any legs to hold your body up. Knockdown number two. And at this point, Morales was just looking for a place to hide. And the hyper-energetic Pacquiao, relentless with rights and lefts. When he started to come complaining about his legs about three or four rounds early, I, that was, to me, that was indication that he realized he was in trouble and he was probably going to quit even sooner or later. Manny Pacquiao tonight was not looking for the home run on every swing, was not looking to knock out Eric Morales with every punch, and consequently he gets... Well, I, I said the, well, the intangibles are all pointed towards Pacquiao winning. I thought he was more focused this time, better prepared, uh, and that, that makes a lot of difference, plus having the benefit of seeing Morales beaten the last fight, too. So I, I just felt that everything favored him, and he's grown more into the junior lightweight in this time because he's really a featherweight, whereas Morales is much harder to lose that weight again, especially when you're older. It's the latest in the string of sensational knockouts, which have made Pacquiao a giant star in the sport. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kenny Bayless steps in and calls a halt to the bout at 2 minutes 33 seconds of round number 10. The winner by TKO victory, Manny. Pac-Man! Pacquiao! Final numbers from CompuBox will reflect 
Pacquiao's increasing dominance as the fight wore on in the power punching category. Pacquiao landing 12 more overall, throwing 151 more. Morales actually landed at a higher connect percentage, but that was partially because Pacquiao was throwing so frequently as Morales had no way to defend, no way to stop him from launching his punches. Power shots, and here you see Pacquiao's accuracy go up a little bit to 32%. But the big difference is that he threw 216 more power shots over the course of 10 rounds than did Morales. That is a big margin. And he landed seven more per round. So consequently, Pacquiao winds up with a significant edge in the power punch category. And now Larry Merchant stands by with Manny Pacquiao. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Manny. Did you think you could knock out Eric Morales? Um, I wasn't ex expect that uh, I'm knocking him out, but I, I expected that we, we finished the 12 rounds, but, you know, I'm lucky that uh, I hit him the body shot and uh, Mora in the head. Are you saying that you think the fact that you went to the body more than you did in the last fight helped to slow him down so that you can finish the fight? Yeah, um, um, he hurt to the body, but the first fight is... Uh, um, I can see his uh, body shot because uh, uh, I have a, a bloody, bloody eyes, you know. So uh, this time, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure that I, I'm careful to the head, so I can see his uh, hands. So you say you could see him better because you weren't cut. Do you think your gloves also contributed to what happened? Oh yeah, exactly. That the gloves of, uh, that I use in clitoris is, uh, you know, I like this glove, it's my glove, so uh, he, she, he uses his uh, own glove uh, winning, so uh, both of us are comfortable to use the gloves. Could you see him getting tired around the sixth and seventh rounds from your punches, and could you see a...